In this video, I'll show you how we can style the chips. So in our last video, we have created like four different types of chips that those are available. The first one is a filter, the second one is the entry chips, storage chips and action chips. Okay, the first thing, let's try to change the background color. So for background color, we have one property, it's called background color. And using this property, we can change the background color of a chip. So if you directly set the background color, then it will set the chip color by default and also uh, it will set this color for both checked and unchecked state so if you want to use like two different colors for two different uh, state like for one color for checked state and another for unchecked state then you need to create one file here that's uh, that's one color state list file here so inside the resource folder create this color folder if you don't have you can create it by right click new and the resource directory and select this directory as the color click ok and it will create the color folder then here you can right click new color resource file suppose uh, you can give any file name that you want for this i'm using as chip background okay and it will create the xml file so here we need to define like two colors so first one is that under state enabled so if we uh, it's not enabled we just check if we have checked and we need one color so if it is true then android color so we can pick some colors that are defined in the color selection file so if it is checked then i am gonna use this blue 800 and if it is not checked if it is false then i'll use this 100 and here i can't use this chip background color okay similarly we can use it for other chips as well for the and received let me use this as the background color and for the choice chip let me use this one and for the action chip also let me use this one now let me start the app and you can see that if i deselect it then it takes the blue 100 and if i'm selecting it then it takes the blue 800 color okay. similarly for sources we can select and deselect it the next one is the changing the color of the text so it's similar to what we did for the background color let me create one color state here right click new color issues file text color uh, let me change it at cheap text and let me copy everything and here i'm gonna paste it and if it is checked and we will use it 100 and if it is not checked then let's use 800 now here we can use text color so text color and we can give the color and cheap text okay let me restart it now you can see that if it is selected then it's taking different colors and if it is deselected then also it takes one different color the next one is like tinting the icons so we have three different types of icons this one is called checked icon this one and this one is called closed icon and we can also add one icon to the chips so it is called chip icon so let me create one resource travel here right click new vector asset and let me add this android vector asset so let me click finish here and we can't add this as the left icon for the entry source or action chips Okay, for the entry, let me give this as chip icon. And here we need 
we can get it from travel and this is android okay, so you can see that it added this icon here similarly for this one let's try if it works or not and if i marked it as chip icon enabled then it will show the icon here similarly for the last one let me edit here as chip icon so you can see that it's added here this one is called checked icon so here we can change the checked icon so if i give it as android or any icon then it will change this default checked icon so now let's try to change the tin color of these icons so it will be same as this uh, color stage that we have created so for this one that is the check icon so we need to use this check icon tint and i'm gonna use it as same as the text for the entry chip we need to use entry chip icon tint okay and for the close icon we can use close icon tint and let me use the same one here we can also add some padding to the start and and so it's called chip start fading so let me add 20 db for here so you can see that some fading is added fading is added from the start of the icon to the start of this trip similarly we can have chip and fading we can also change the corner radius so it's called chip corner radius and one db so you can change it to anything you want we can also give one border to the chip so it's called chip stroke width suppose it is 2dp then we can give the color of this border chip stroke color and let me give it a same as chip text so the border we can give so let me start it again so now you can see that the border is changed and also we can change the ripple color so if i press on the chip then you can see that one ripple is created so for that it's called ripple color and here i can give let's use the text color so let me restart now you can see that the ripple color is changed okay and that's all for now so if you have any question please drop one comment below and if you are not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and please like the video if you love it thanks bye